If the stober reducer is supplied with an output flange, the flange side of the reducer will bolt to the equipment flange. The tolerance for the hollow bore is shown in Table 1, and the shaft should be tolerance to fit this bore accordingly. Since your stober reducer has been supplied with an output flange, please discard the keeper plate. The keeper plate inside the quill is held in place with snap rings and can be easily removed. Check the flange and machine mounting interface to ensure they have compatible dimensions for proper installation. The first dimension to check is the protruding boss or dimension B1 of the flange. This portion of the flange will be utilized for centering the gearbox on the conveyor to ensure concentricity. The tolerance of the protruding boss, dimension B1, is shown in Table 2. The machined bore in the machine mounting surface should fit this boss accordingly. The bolt circle diameter dimension E1 and mounting hole configurations are shown in Table 2. Check the bolt circle diameter and mounting hole configuration to ensure proper alignment with the machine mounting surface. If all dimensions are acceptable for interface with the Stober flange, you are ready to install the gearbox on the machine shaft. Before installation, brush the inside of the bore with rust inhibiting grease. Do not mount the reducer dry as removal may be impossible. Line the reducer bore up with the keyway of the machine shaft and guide the reducer onto the shaft. Avoid hammering the gearbox onto the shaft as this may damage the bearings. Slide the gearbox onto the shaft until the flat face of the flange is flush with the mounting surface. If the boss of the flange does not easily slide into the pilot bore of the machine surface, do not force the flange into place. This could result in premature failure of the gearbox bearings due to misalignment. Ensure that the gearbox mounting holes are properly aligned with the mounting surface holes. If the mounting surface has a through hole, you will need to place a nut and washer of the correct size onto the back side of the mounting bolt. Then tighten to the correct torque specification based on the bolt grade and size. If the mounting surface has tapped holes, you should then tighten the mounting bolts to the correct torque specification based on the bolt grade and size. Once all bolts have been tightened to the correct torque specification, the Stober reducer is ready for operation. To dismantle the unit from the shaft, remove the bolts from the Stober flange. After all flange bolts have been removed, the reducer will be ready to slide off the shaft. Removal of the reducer will be easier if the bore is greased before installation.